The things that I talk and teach about, the intersections of race, class, and gender, um, they're not just academic for me. Uh, they're real, and I've lived them like many of you have. What we know to be absolutely true is that if we're talking about racial equity and equity work in general, it requires us to have an analysis around power, right? Diversity doesn't have, doesn't speak to power. Inclusion doesn't speak to power. Equity is what speaks to power. Often liberation begins when someone begins to experience themselves differently in the world than, than maybe you have in the past. And it's really marked by an intrapersonal change, right? A change in the core of who we are and what we believe about ourselves. And this may be the result of a critical incident or some long, slow evol evolutionary process that really helps to shift our worldviews. And so I always refer to this phase as the waking up phase, right? So when y'all hear folks talking about stay woke, this is it. Stay woke, y'all. Don't go back to sleep. As we continue fighting racial inequity and the common enemies that have plagued our past, achieving true freedom is impossible without winning the individual wars within ourselves. We are not who they tell us we are. And amidst our fight for freedom and equity, we also have to fight for joy for the sake of our well-being. And during and after this, this long fight towards liberation, we must center joy in the work. It's not us waiting today to be free, but how do we be free and joyful today in this moment? And I know that my joy stands defiant in the faces of those who try to dehumanize me. I know that my joy makes my oppressor big mad, y'all, because more than stealing our rights, stealing our joy is their greatest evil. Ensuring that we can access our joy or that we have fear or guilt around expressing it is probably the most insidious way that white supremacy shows up. Racial equity work requires us to have difficult and honest conversations. And perhaps the only thing white dominant culture dislikes more than failure is conflict. Our inability to engage each other productively combined with our need to be perfect gets in our way of talking openly about race and confronting injustices. 